All right, so we're actually trying out the new phone, which came in yesterday. Um, shouldn't be a ton of difference in the videos, but we will see. Um, nothing special with these. Gonna let them go another week before I transplant them. Um, when I did transplant them, I did put some of the roots at the bottom, and I'm basically hoping that they filled out the rest of the cup. Um, the biggest difference with this phone is um, has some new options. So it looks like it can zoom, and then it'll also go wide, which is really cool because here's what a normal phone looks like, and here's what the ultra wide looks like. So kind of neat. Um, nothing really special going on. Just everything growing like it has been. Um, Spinach is starting to come up. Rupini is doing really well. And then between the Swiss chard, it's a little scrawny. Um, one of these is kale. One is basil. Rainbow carrots. Short fat carrots. Um, way down at the end is regular carrots and green onions in the cloth bag. Potatoes are starting to poke through. There's actually six in here. Um, you can see two. And really the biggest update is uh, green beans are doing really well. <clears throat> These tomato plants look good, but they've been there a month, three weeks, whatever, after I transplanted them. So they're doing okay. Um, rutabaga growing pretty crazy. Probably needs to be thinned out. And then the very sad zucchini, which has produced nothing to eat but leaves and the aphids have chewed it up. But this week has been pretty cool. Um, we had some rain and then it's been in the 80s. Had the sides down. I need to roll these up. Um, it's 85 out. It's about 100, 105 inside. So it's a little bit too warm for the plants, but I have to get to it. Um, talk about warm for the plants. So... You'd think that I was killing these, but for whatever reason, these two jalapeno plants, they're getting water, the buckets are full, and they look like I'm just starving them to death. So I don't know what to do with them. I tried to water them this morning, and just nothing is fixing it. So I've got to figure it out or try to do some reading, or these things are going to be dead soon. So um, the leaves are, are limp. And uh, it's just kind of hanging on by a thread. I mean, it's poking out a couple jalapenos, but that's about it. Um, the salsa pepper is doing well, even though there's some aphids on here still. Um, look, there's a fat ladybug. I think that's one of the new ladybugs. Um, so some of the ladybugs, uh, they had babies and all that other fun stuff. Um, so let me back up here a little bit. So this was about the same size and transplanted when those short ones I was showing you outside and this thing's three and a half feet tall that's not counting how far it is off the ground because that would put it at uh, about five eight so that tomato plants doing really well this chocolate sprinkle I picked most of the stuff off there's a few on there then this one's gonna go either this week or next week and get replaced with something that was I just showed you outside this Juliet grape is doing real well but this monster thing out here this is actually a sucker this one needs to get cut off so the rest of the plant can continue to grow um, the Havasu pepper even though it had some aphids um, you can see red and orange hiding out back in there so that's doing pretty good I'm curious to see what they taste like um, the dragon cayenne it's come all the way out here. I mean, it's about hanging about four feet out. Um, and it's really dark green. You can barely see them. Like, so, um, what I thought was the grape tomato taking up everything, which I trimmed out most of it, turns out to be this indigo which is purple then turns like red like cherries is bent over and hanging all the way down all that green is that plant so 
the grape tomatoes are going to come out and probably put another one back in. I have another Juliet like this one um, sitting out there ready to go because if I go to move this one, I'll probably break it. Um, sorry, that's the midnight snack. This one is the indigo in this corner. Didn't do real well. Um, still part of it's healthy, but um, I have a sucker growing outside needs to be replaced. I found out what's eating these. So I was in here yesterday and munching on this one it was a giant freaking grasshopper or cricket or whatever the hell it was. We'll call it a grasshopper for argument's sake. So that's what's been eating these up here. So we need to pick these, make some salsa, and then take this plant out, replace it, and, you know, lather, rinse, repeat. That's kind of everything you've been hearing me saying for, you know, the rest of this video. So, um, this one is an Abe Lincoln. This whole giant thing off the side is a sucker. So I'm thinking about cutting this and planting this sucker. That's this whole branch here. And then the rest of it should just be normal. I mean, the suckers, you should pick them when the sucker is like this big, not when it's, you know, pretty near half the plant. And it's just starving the rest of it. So it's starving the rest of the plant and then you're gonna have to support two things. So you should really have just one trunk like this one. Actually, I did, oh, see, there's the bastard right there. That's what's been eating my tomatoes. Um, but anyway, so this one is a single trunk all the way up. So this one looks, this is like picture perfect of what you want to do is single trunk and then just branches everywhere. So anyways, I need to get there. So that one needs to get trimmed. This one's a little runty, but doing well. Um, it was about the same size as this one. It's just so funny when you see things side by side and one is just doing so much better than the other. I mean, they're getting the same food. They're getting the same amount. They were about the same size. Hell, they may even come from the same plant. I don't remember because I just pulled the suckers off. But anyways, it's still doing okay. It looks a little dry up around the edge here. You can see this is curled up. Actually, it's not dry. Some of that's just temperature change because it's pretty warm in here. And then this one's doing real well. So it needs to be trimmed a little at the bottom. Um, and it has one sucker, actually two. So there's that one and then there's that one. You can pull the suckers whenever, but obviously the sooner the better, because um, that's just robbing the nutrients from the rest of the plant. Um, peppers are doing really good. Let's see if I can get back in here. So we've got peppers everywhere. I mean, these are pretty good size. Let me try to straddle the... So I'm just letting them get on there. So this one caught a little bit of the heat. You can see it's rotting there. This one is totally fine. And most of them are fine in there. So that's the only problem I have. But now that it's cooling off, like here's another one. This is, you know, pretty much picture perfect. Could be a little fatter, but um, so there's peppers everywhere. I mean, there's probably like, you know, eight plus, and then there's more coming, right? So. You can see all the blossoms and all the buds hanging out. And then this, last but not least, was the runty cucumber from a couple weeks ago. It's doing really well. Um, I need to chop off some leaves so you can see the white spots. That's the fungus that's pretty common with cucumbers and zucchinis. So I gotta clip a couple leaves before that spreads. All these other ones are really healthy. Um, that looked like it was full, but it's not. It's actually just the uh, the reflection of the sun with little hairs on there. So anyways, these two plants are doing really well. Um, you can see the blossoms. So even though I didn't want to put it in hydroponics, I just need to just get it growing and uh, we'll see what happens. Other than that, uh, that's what we got. And we'll pop out to the wide angle just to uh, finish the shot.